Today, uh, we're going to use the Pro 5 to generate some ozone with the HTU 500 ozone generator. So we've got a Pro 5 uh, here. Uh, I've got it set at the lowest flow setting, but I'm going to turn it on. So it's a good idea to get that uh, turned on first. Let it get warmed up. Uh, as that green light is flashing, that means it's, it's not quite up to full purity yet. Um, once that stops, then we know we're, we're good to go. Um, so I have a, a jug of water here, just mainly for demonstration. Uh, if you want to ozonate uh, some water, I have a stainless steel bubble diffuser that's hooked up to some Effie, you know, some uh, Fluxilane uh, ozone compatible tubing. I'm going to dip that into the water. It's quarter inch inside diameter. And I'm going to hook that up to the ozone output on the ozone generator. So now for our feed gas, the same type of tubing, I'll hook that to the, the inlet of the ozone generator. And our oxygen coming out of the Pro 5 is coming out here. So right now, I've got to set the lowest setting. We have just a little bit of oxygen. You can see now the bubble started uh, coming out of our diffuser. So we have oxygen flowing from the Pro 5 into the ozone generator, coming out and into our water. Now, I don't have any ozone yet because I don't have our machine, our ozone generator turned on, but it's good to just get oxygen flowing through it so we see uh, what's happening. If I turn this up higher uh, to a quarter liter a minute, you can see the bubbles increasing. Go up to one and all the way up to five. And we've got lots of bubbles uh, in, our, in our water. All right, so this HU 500 ozone generator, I do need to plug the cord in. So that plugs right in here. This dial here is going to be the power level of the ozone generator. Uh, it goes from 1 all the way up to 10. So we just start at a low power level first. Turn the unit on, uh, light will come on, and you'll hear just a, a little bit of a, a buzzing sound, a high frequency sound, and that's uh, when it's starting to make ozone. Now, so right now it's making a little bit of ozone. I'm just going to turn it off and point out a few charts that we could use to figure out how much ozone we're making. In the HGU 500 ozone generator manual, you have these performance tests that show at different oxygen flows how much ozone it's making. Uh, this here is measuring ozone production in grams per hour. So that's the overall amount of ozone it's producing. Uh, if you're concerned about concentration, this chart shows ozone concentration in percent by weight. And as the flow, at a really low flow, you're going to have the highest concentration of ozone. At uh, more flow, that brings the concentration down you know, about half, going from you know, the, the really s the slowest you can flow through it down to one. And on the bottom here, we show in numbers, and instead of percent by weight, it's the concentration is being measured here in grams. Uh, per cubic meter, and that's often used uh, in, in different, uh, sometimes in medical, uh, that's the same thing as uh, gamma number. So at a quarter of a liter a minute, uh, we'll get 34 grams per cubic meter. At a half a liter a minute, concentration goes down. Um, this particular, uh, the Pro 5, reduces the flow down to 0.125 and we don't have that on here but at 0.125 then you're getting around 50 grams per uh, cubic meter. 
Um, now these numbers are all when the ozone generator is set at its highest setting, at 10. Uh, we have some more detailed numbers on our website that you can look at under the HTU 500. And uh, here we see that at uh, point 0.1, uh, we measure 56 grams per cubic meter. And that's at the number 10, you know, the maximum setting. We can go down to some really small flows. Uh, I don't have the equipment here right now to measure that. Uh, but this Pro 5 will dose uh, 0.125, so we're just a little bit above uh, well, yeah, between this 0.1 and 0.15, so you're around 50 grams per cubic meter. Uh, as you turn this flow rate up, 0.25, uh, then we have around 38 grams per cubic meter. Right? And you can turn it on up you know, all the way to 4, and as you can see, as you increase the flow rate, the concentration of ozone decreases. But once you get your uh, your flow started and you have it set, uh, you can you know, as soon as you turn this on, uh, you can hear it uh, buzzing. Uh, the light goes on to indicate that you're making ozone, and the ozone is uh, bubbling in the water. Um, you could use this for making ozonated uh, water, and we'll be doing a video to demonstrate you know, how long it takes to get a quantity of water like this. Uh, to a certain uh, dissolved ozone concentration. Uh, usually at the lowest concentration, or at the lowest flow rate, you're going to have a high concentration of ozone and that's going to dissolve faster into the water and allow you to get higher concentrations. Um, so that's, uh, okay, you'll notice here that this green light has turned solid, so our oxygen is stabilized and uh, we're, we're making we're making ozone at right now right around 50 grams per cubic meter. Okay, so I hope this video was helpful. Um, you can see how the, the Pro 5 is a nice oxygen concentrator that gives you some control over your flow rates. And uh, when you understand and when you know uh, what your oxygen flow rate is through the generator, uh, this particular generator, the HTU 500, uh, gives you some really nice uh, performance at these low uh, flow rates. And uh, with a chart like this, you're able to dial in uh, virtually any uh, ozone concentration that you'd like. So if you're, if you're looking for uh, a higher flow rate, you don't have, want to have quite as high of a concentration, uh, you can dial this down to 7 so that at this flow rate uh, you're still getting uh, 29 grams per cubic meter. So there's a lot of different flexibility here with this unit. Um, the HDU 500, it, is, uh, it does have double quartz dielectrics, so you know, the ozone does not come into contact with any metals of any sort. Um, and it's a medical grade uh, quartz uh, dielectric with uh, virtually a lifetime uh, life expectancy. Uh, even if fluid or water would get packed up into here, uh, it can be dried out with oxygen and uh, it'll continue to operate. So very uh, robust ozone generator. And this oxygen concentrator is very flexible, can be used for a variety of purposes, uh, and it works well together in this application.